XFL return rumored as WWE head Vince McMahon forms new investment venture. Wrestling mogul Vince McMahon has created Alpha Entertainment, a separate venture from his WWE kingdom that is self-funded and may be the vehicle for a revived XFL, the television-driven pro football league that lasted one season in 2001. The WWE confirmed the move in a statement and said the new venture will explore investment opportunities across the sports and entertainment landscape, including professional football. The story was first reported by the Deadspin website. The XFL was a joint venture between NBC and McMahon's World Wrestling Federation WWF, now known as the WWE. An outdoor league that played in the National Football League's off-season, it was touted as having fewer rules than the more traditional NFL. The XFL had eight teams in two divisions, all owned by the league, with games televised by NBC, UPN and TNN. The league is best remembered for several innovations, including sky cams and on-player microphones. WWE talents like Jesse Ventura were part of the on-air commentary teams, and players like running back Rod He Hate Me Smart were encouraged to have their nicknames on their jerseys. NBC and the WWF both reportedly lost $35 million on a $100 million investment in the first season, causing NBC to pull out of the project. McMahon wanted to continue, but said demands by UPN led the league to cease operations in May 2001. However, with NFL ratings down and fans discontented with player national anthem protests, McMahon may see an opportunity. There have been several reports that the revived XFL may be announced as soon as next month. ESPN recently ran a 30 for 30 documentary on the XFL and director Charlie Ebersol, the son of Dick Ebersol, the NBC sports head who was a key to the league, asked McMahon whether he ever thought about bringing back the league. Yes, I do, McMahon said. I don't know what it would be. I don't know if it's going to be another XFL or what it may be or how different I would make it. It seems like, in some way, it would tie in either with the NFL itself or the owners.